Expectations are always high for Ohio University Volleyball, and they are again for the 2013 season. The talented Cats are ready to go, and we're set to visit with head coach Ryan Tice. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Coach, six years now. Can you believe it? Has it gone by fairly quickly? You know, the biggest thing is when I'm standing next to my son, and I came here when he was three days old, and now he hits my elbows when he walks. He's getting really tall, but that's mom's jeans. You've uh, certainly done well parenting. You've certainly done well coaching, too. Uh, when you take a look at it, uh, two seasons since the last trip to the NCAA tournament, for a lot of schools, they, that might be like, well, that's all right. Here, I would imagine there, there's a, a great impetus to get back to not only winning a MAC championship, but the NCAA tournament again. When you take a look at this roster right now, do you see a team that has the stuff to be able to get that MAC title and back to the dance? Absolutely. I think that this is the strongest and most talented group we've had since 2009. Um, and, and we know, and the program knows, and the players know that it's a tough pill to swallow in back to back years missing the NCAA tournament by one RPI in 2011 and about three spots in 2012. You know, one match goes a different way, one conference tournament game goes a different way, and you're in. And so we've been right there. Um, last year we had seven underclassmen on the floor in, in most of the rotations. Um, there are a lot of sophomores and juniors now, uh, and so we feel we finally have some experience to go with our quality of play, and I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I think if people take a look at broad strokes the roster, they'll see a lot of freshmen and sophomores there, uh, juniors too. Uh, there are more underclassmen than there are upperclassmen, but they're underclassmen that have played a lot, and that's a great help to you. Yeah, not only did they get a lot of experience last year, but sophomores like uh, Abby and Meredith, you know, they've been playing volleyball their whole life. Um, and then juniors too, Chelsea and Kelly have played, you know, their whole life. So last year as sophomores, I really didn't feel that they were that, you know, much of underclassmen or inexperienced. But there is an adjustment to the collegiate game. And now that they're juniors, they're really into their own. And the sophomores are playing really well right now. So we're excited. It also helps when you have the Max Player of the Year coming back for another season. Kelly Lamberti is back with you. Yeah, and we're trying to expand her role a little bit. I mean, she already does everything for us. She passes, she defends, she hits, which is why she was so successful and Mac Player of the Year. Uh, we're asking her to pick up some right side uh, responsibilities at practice and maybe just do a little even more for us. Um, and she's doing a good job with it. When you take a look at your style, um, how would you describe the style of play of 2013 Bobcat Volleyball? We're still working on that, I mean, and that's a little tricky. The last couple pieces in our lineup we're still working out. We seem to be awfully good defensively. The, the incoming class of five freshmen and, and a transfer has, has really made practice intense in terms of defensive volleys. We get a lot of block touches. We get a lot of digs. Uh, very high volleyball IQ of the freshmen that came in, a lot of athleticism, and so it's really fun to watch our environment. Uh, we're just starting to settle in now into what offensive scheme we'll have to use. Um, our defense I don't think will be significantly different. Offense is usually dictated by talent, so we're going to have to combine um, things we've liked to do in the past with uh, some of the things that the newcomers bring. So it'll be a little different offensively. Yeah, one thing that Bobcat Volleyball has never shied away from has been a very difficult schedule. You've got it again. You start off at Oregon and just the list keeps on going with the solid schedule on the road and at home. Yeah, we, you know, we try every year to play five to seven top 50 opponents, uh, RPI-wise in the country, and, and we've got that again. Uh, you know, we're going to try and win all of them. We'll see how they shake out. It's, it's uh, like you said, not an not an easy schedule by any means, but there's a lot of good games in there. There'll be a really, I mean, it's really going to push us. It's really going to test our level, and we'll find out where we are about halfway through it probably. All right, Coach, thanks for the visit as always. Good luck. All right, thanks for having me. That's Head Coach Ryan Tice for Tony Ermain and Tanner Smith. I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is coverage of Bobcat Volleyball 2013 on OhioBobcats.com and Bobcat TV.